Good afternoon. Good after. Oh, we're introing. Yeah. Good afternoon. We daily vlog. If you like this video, wait. No. Yeah. Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you come back tomorrow. Woohoo! Let's go eat. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're at Ethos Vegan Kitchen, and if you couldn't tell from the intro, we got Megan and Katie. It's oh, so and you're sunny. vlogging too. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get these sweaters very soon. So I am well, not crazy those exact for wearing ones. this right now. It'll be cool once we get inside. Yeah, and you'll need it. This place is world famous for these. Is it really? No. <laughs> garlic naan. Peter's heart. Yeah. And I want him like that. Garlic naan. Garlic <laughs> <laughs> I got a beer flight. We got cider boys. Strawberry <laughs> magic. <laughs> Collective <laughs> arts. Guava <laughs> goes. <laughs> Lexington Co. Uh, Bourbon barrel ale, which is the one I'm most excited for. And then this is supposed to be the most hoppy one, which is a Playa Lindo, Robinot Red. Which I'm excited because I really love hoppy beers too. Megan, what do you think of the garlic knots? They're amazing. They were the best things ever. They're so hot. But we keep eating them. Megan got the wine flight. Oh, it's so fancy. <laughs> They're all from different countries. It's like here in Epcot. Very is that the strawberry one? No. Yes, it is. Cider oh boy, strawberry magic. So that tastes like candy. I know. Try this. Oh my god. Strawberry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I spilled a bunch of my beer on the table. It's been quite a mess since you left. You can't function without you. Is it good? Yes. I got garlic bread. That looks delicious. Lasagna. I got mashed potatoes and gravy. She got porridge. <laughs> porridge. That, that calzone divine. is bigger than your face. It literally is. I would pick it up, but it probably burn my fingers off. Oh, you're good. Pick it up. 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 Bigger than your face. Whoa. Bigger than your face. It kind of looks like a face. And I got a Reuben. I'm interested. It's tofurkey, which we typically don't do, but I was feeling it. We're done eating. I don't know if we're gonna get any cookies, but Sarah pointed out this is like my cookie. Chocolate chips, pecans, coconuts, and oats. It's like all my favorites. Wow. First Universal Hotel. Oh, look at this. We're in the room. We're in the room. And we have this wonderful card from the concierge family from Royal Pacific, with all these little snacks and everything on there. So great. Thank you so much, Royal Pacific, Alyssa and Co. The photo. What happens if you do it? It and apparently it like vibrates we'll the motorbike to make it feel Guys, like you use the dragon. We're gonna go on Hagrid's. Also, <laughs> I'm standing. I'm standing on this. like a flamingo. <laughs> I just realized there's flowers back there on the wall. Okay, what are we doing tomorrow? We're going on Hagrid's. And we're going to press the purple button. Because apparently you're supposed to press the purple button. And yes. Oompa Loompa show up? <laughs> Not we'll find Oompa, out. Oompa. This was This was the pose. <laughs> Check this out. It's like a wannabe Stacy channel. We said it's like just like voiceovers instead of Stacy actually. It's kind of like what Disney's going to have one Stacy. <gasps> It's finally phased out. You okay, Peter? He forgot his pass at home. But then I remember that Universal's cool where you can have like a QR scan of your on of your annual pass on an app and I pulled it up to show everybody and we all cheered. And then I got kicked <laughs> out of the app and then I went to go sign back in and now it won't load. And I go online and it won't load online. But I can log in, it's got our address, my email address and everything. I go to the wallet. Are you just gonna bring this? I'm not just gonna bring this, I'm just gonna bring this. I'm joking, I didn't know my laptop could do this. Oh, you broke it. It's a Look at this fancy, fancy carpet and the fancy, fancy wall and the fancy, fancy light fixture. And Peter's stressing out right now because I don't have my annual pass. And I was on my phone on my app and it's not there anymore, now I'm back foot. Our dream is about to come true. Two great things. One, a boat, and two, my app works and my annual pass is <laughs> fresh my app again. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's in the back. What's that airplane doing over there? Crash landed. <laughs> Jimmy Buffett acting again. Welcome aboard. Your only moment. Universal City Walk at the unbelievable fun of Universal's three amazing theme parks. Peter, you said that islands 
looked glorious yesterday, so. We're going in. We're going don't in. I, don't have my sunglasses. I'm a mess today. I've never seen it. this shirt. Peter would buy it and wear it. This is cute too. Our first stop is going to be Forbidden Journey. Um, I don't. I think we're gonna we're gonna end up at the end of the night in studios for um, for the nighttime show. Katie and Megan have never seen it before. I think we're just gonna ride as many rides as we can with this express pass. We're about to get real fancy. First time ever using express pass. I'm super nervous. Is it is it as good, better, or not as better than Fast Pass? Same. Oh, it's better, I think, actually, because it's unlimited. Look at these magical paintings. Stop talking to me, you creeps. Ooh, look at this cool alumni series of stuff from Hogwarts. I love it. So very nice. It was incredible as always. I said it before, and I'll say it again. I think that is. My, in my top two favorite attractions all the time. It might be my favorite attraction of any park anytime ever, but it, just to be safe, I'll say top two or three. But I love that attraction. It's theming, execution, mechanics, imagery, imagination, love it. Okay, this is our very first time going on this ever. This is like Harry Potter meets Barnstormer. First time ever riding this, and we're gonna be on front row. I will go on that ride every time I can here for two reasons. One was a surprise and one Megan said, but I didn't believe her. Megan said that it's got one of the best views of Hogwarts, which is 100% true. You get a gorgeous view of it. And secondly, which is I think more importantly, is Buckbeak is on the attraction. Like a real life Buckbeak moving. Ah, that was, mo me and Sarah both screamed and looked at each other like, what? That was incredible. And it is like Barnstormer. The whole ride is like 40 seconds long. Maybe. Maybe. So if it's a long wait, realize you're going to wait however X long for a 40 second ride. This is a pumpkin fizz and probably our favorite drink of all time. Definitely of all the theme parks. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Just over these hedges. Guys, if you can ever stay at one of those resorts here at Universal to get Express Pass, do it because you feel like a king or a queen or some kind of royalty. <laughs> well, Megan was saying that the Express Pass is better, but it is expensive. It's extra money. Mm -hmm. And so it's so, nice if you stay at Royal Pacific, Hard Rock, or Portofino Bay. It comes with your stay. Check it out, check it out, check it out. We're in Universal Studios. Yeah. Halloween Horror Nights around the corner, yeah, less than a month, yeah, gonna get my freaking fear pass, yeah, super pumped, yeah, gonna go at least 15 times, yeah, but first, express pass into Gringotts, <laughs> the land beneath the dragon, that's the actual title. We made it to our next stop. Oh, remember when we waited over an hour and a half because the ride went down the other night? Because of the magic of the express pass. We hopefully will not be waiting very long at all, as long as it doesn't go down. I'm pumped that we're in the express line because we also, and I said this in the vlog, I don't know if Sarah kept it in the vlog last week, I've never been on this side to see these, these goblins, trolls? No, goblins, goblins. Goblins or trolls? Goblins? Goblins. goblins. So we can be close to these goblins now and I can give them all weird looks and judge them for their lack of philanthropy. You look creepy dude. Scribbling away over there. What are you scribbling so intently for? What kind of secrets? Oh. oh, this is my favorite time of Diagonal. On a scale of 10 to 10, how amazing was that ride? My answer is always nine and three quarters. What? Peter. It's a 10. Nine and three quarters. It deserves a 10. It's better than Get in on the jokes. <laughs> okay, these are the bathrooms in Diagon Alley. And see, guys, wanna know something? These are one of my top three favorite restrooms in all of the theme park's world. I like them too because the doors are solid. Yes. And it, it like, I, I could almost risk saying it's my favorite of any theme park, but Grand Floridian, second floor, main building, 
Um, my favorite, I think. I don't know. I'm, I'll, I'll, t I'll let you know. I'll let you know. We're gonna do something we've Peter and I have never done before. Katie and Megan are gonna teach us some magic. Woo! Oh, and I decided that's my favorite in park bathroom of all the parks in the world so far. Grand Floridian is my favorite resort. resort. Yeah, that was a cool bathroom. And if I have to choose one overall, it would still be Grand Floridian. Do you notice that the toilets look like the Ministry of Magic toilets? No, but I just love, I love everything. Like I want to, when we own a house one day, I want to make our bathroom look just like yeah. that. Subway I tile, would film, the, but it's the, a little weird to film in a bathroom. The, like, it's just so great. A little. A little. It's great. We're this is, starting this is my with favorite. Peter's favorite. Meg's just helping out the friends. Woo! So you scan on the marker and that's how you know where to do it. And then that tells you the motion too. Oh, cool. And the spell that you're casting. Megan let me try on her Bellatrix wand and I did it on the first try. Okay, let's see if Peter can do it. About that. I love fire. You do. I did the magic. I'm a wizard. I'm going back to school to get my master's in wizardry from Hogwarts. I'll be back in seven years. Peace out, with our project. We're in Nocturne Alley, where all the squibs live. Show me the way to go. Quite creepy. Yeah. Wait, what happened? I silenced him. We're all posted up for the show. In just five minutes, <laughs> the lighting around Epcot's World Showcase Lagoon will be reduced. Also, if you're not already, Swish and Flick and the Peter's Family both have YouTube channels. We do. Check them out, check them out, check them out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not too hungry so we're gonna check out Antihitos which we'll throw back to when uh, we went with Sean Caroline and Dave well that was something else yeah. this is super wide open this is super wide open there's like so much going on good food entertainment you can see everything which is funky like imagine if like Magic Kingdom was there and you can see it and you can see Epcot you know what I mean yeah it's just like a weird it's just different and I like it and we're going here to and tojitos to have dinner tonight. Our very first time ever coming to City Walk to eat something. The was big moment. The big moment. And they, you guys have never been. Nope. So we're gonna go. Hopefully it's hopefully they can get a, t a table, just sneak us in there. Maybe get some appies. It's good. It's, I feel like it's a good place to get like little tapas kind of things. That's exactly what I want. I like And then we just go to bed just down the street. <laughs> like it's so weird we to be staying to here on a vacation. Like, it's a vac we're vacationing right now. It's so great. Universal got on the. What, what are these called? Spirit, spirit jerseys. jerseys. I just bought a spirit, spirit jersey, jersey yesterday. My first. Yeah, my first spirit jersey. But I'm gonna wait until I wear it to show ya. What is going on here? Like what? What and why is this a thing? All right. So I don't know if I explained earlier, but I went on a 13.1 mile run. And about 70% of that was a run, 30% of it was a walk. And 
it was not good because of the running running conditions like weather conditions this morning and how much i ate or lack of eating last night and not enough time between last night's late run and this morning's early run so i'm trying to be a, cool, a trooper and i'm letting them have fun in uh in the store and i'm gonna chill out here and sit because after the running the 13 one 13.1 and then walking on the parks my legs are hurting a little bit but i don't want to hinder it and i just found this cool like little hangout area at uh big fire big fire big fire all righty we're at anti hotels for dinner it was more like a mini dinner i got a new chair the vegetarian enchiladas and here is the rest of the menu Here we go, we got our chips, our salsa, and now we got our guava. I'm gonna all that by myself, all those chips. Wow, look at this deliciousness. Snickers and the Milky Way and the- Peter's already talking about our dessert. Dinner was delicious, and so, now we're just gonna walk back to the hotel. I think we're gonna get a movie and eat, and eat cookies. And to the left, to the left. and we can just walk there. Isn't that amazing? Party boat. We're back in the room, and I just realized I didn't bring home the daily message with us, so we don't have that. But we're doing splits because we picked up these midnight four snack. cookies. Midnight snack. It's not midnight, is it? Not yet. No. Sarah's got to edit the vlog tonight because we're going early to try to get on Hagrid's, Hagrid's and maybe get some APs for these girls over here. Yeah. But explain the cookie dividations. Okay, so me and Katie are splitting the double chocolate and the snickerdoodle and Peter and Megan are splitting the orange cookie and the cowboy cookie which is chocolate chip, oatmeal, pecan, coconut. coconut. It's called compromise. It sure is. Are you ready? I can make up a daily message. Yes, let's okay. hear it. Who, who's the quote by? Dumbledore. Albus Dumbledore. Okay. I knew you were going to say that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what is it? No, I'm worried I'm going to get it wrong. <laughs> I know okay. what you're going to say. Happiness can be found. I know it. Even in the darkest of times, if one only remembers to turn on the light. Oh, I love it. All right, we're <laughs> not going to bed yet, but we have to sign off because Sarah has to start editing the vlog. Yes. So we have to indulge in the cookies, indulge in the room. Thanks for following along with us. We'll put all their, all their, everything in the info. Go check it out and give them so much love. And yes. tomorrow's our full park day. Tomorrow's Woo. early park day. Like we're going in what hour before the park opens to get at the best spot in line for Hagrid's. Yep. Yeah. Then we're probably even gonna come back to the resort, relax, relax, maybe swim. swim. Yes. <laughs> it's good to be home. Good to be home. Good to be home. Good to be home. Yes. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>